this is Coral and welcome back to my channel after last week's video about my disappointing Ipsy products I felt so bad about like trashing everything I got so today I decided to make a video about my and disappointing Ipsy products so these are products that I've been loving these are not all of them because the ones I really really love I ran out of and I'm considering buying so these are things that I'm still using today and I'm loving and I just wanted to share them with you because I think Ipsy has some really great things actually I'm wearing most of them on my face today just to show you how much I love them so let's just get into it and I'll show you all my favorite Ipsy products I'll just start with my first category of loving so these are my favorite brushes from Ipsy these are brushes that I use every single day actually if you saw my Tip Tuesday video about cleaning your brushes. I was cleaning this one because I use it that often. It's already dirty again because I used it today. So this is a brush that I've been loving so much. This one is from Luxie. It is number 514. It is a blush brush. It is extremely soft. I just love touching my face with it. It is so soft. It is perfect for blush. Before I got it, I was actually looking for a good blush brush. Everything I had wasn't that good and this is just amazing. It is extremely soft so it applies your blush in such a like smooth, perfect way. It doesn't deposit too much product. I think this is perfect. Another Luxie brush is the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter. This is great for highlighting. I only use this one for highlighting my cheeks. Perfect one. And the last one is by the brand Sedona. I think it is EB13. So this is a crease brush. I've been loving it for my crease. I use it today. I think this is absolutely a great brush and I've been really enjoying it. And I have a product from my disappointing videos. I did mention I have a love-hate relationship with this one. It is the Pixie by Petra Blush and Highlighter Duo. So today I have the blush color on my cheeks because I said I love the blush. I think it is beautiful. And like I mentioned, I hate the fact that it's the two together because it is so hard for me to just get the blush on my brush. It makes it, it just, it kills me every time. Every time I'm like, oh, why, why did they put it together? Why? So yeah, I love the blush. It is stunning. And I actually think about going on Pixie by Petra website and see if they sell the brush individual, individually because I love it. My next category is eyeliners. I did say in my disappointing videos that I'm tired of eyeliners, but before my April bag, I got an email from Ipsy. I think some people get it. Like they offer you to choose one of your products out of like five products. So you can choose the product you will be getting in the next month. And for April, I did choose to get a ColourPop cream eyeliner because they offered a beautiful shade. This one is called Show Me. It is an amazing bronze color. And like I said, I love ColourPop eyeliners, but this just like surprised me so much. So it is extremely long lasting, like a different level. And the pigmentation is amazing. I have it on my lower lash line today and it is stunning. I love it so much, I cannot say enough good things about it and it doesn't come off, like, it does not come off. Another eyeliner is this one by the brand Skin. It is a nude color, so it is amazing for everyday look. You just pop it on your lower waterline. It makes your eyes look bigger and it looks super natural. So I think it is just perfect for everyday look. The beautiful lipstick that I have on my lips today is the one that I got in my glam bag. It is the Tarte Tardiest Lip Paint and I got the shade Rosé. I know like almost everyone got this one in their glam bags, but I think it is such a good liquid lipstick. I think it's one of the best one I've ever tried. They had three shades that they sent out to people. I did not care which shade I got, but I've been absolutely loving it. I think it is stunning, mauve peachy, pinky color. It is beautiful, it goes with everything. Also with like every makeup look I do, it just looks perfect and it lasts a long time. My next two products are actually ones that I purchased 
purchased with my Ipsy points. So when you review the products you get in your bag, you get points and you can use those points to like get rewards. The last one that I got about a month ago is this Pure Release Hydra Balance Moisturizer for normal to dry skin. I was actually about to run out of my moisturizer, so I decided to get this one. I thought it will be smaller, but it's actually a really good size. I've been using this in the mornings, and I've been really liking it so far. I think I've been using it for two weeks. It does hydrate like it says, so I've been liking it. The next reward product I got is this lip gloss lipstick kind of one by... I don't know, it says GC. I forgot the name of the brand, honestly, but I've been loving it so much. This one is absolutely stunning. I was using it every, like, I was using it non-stop and I still have a lot of product left. I think it has an amazing pigmentation, so it's like a lip gloss with a really nice color. And I almost worn it today, but I wanted to switch it up because I literally wear it non-stop. category are eyeshadows. So I have a few of them. The first one that I'll be talking about is this one that I got by Urban Decay. I forgot the name. Oh, Fireball. It's called Fireball. So I actually already had one like this that I got from Urban Decay when I purchased something on the website. They gave me it as a sample and I was loving it. So when I saw that I got it in my Ipsy bag, I was like not happy at first, but because I ran out of the one I got by Urban Decay, I was like, oh, thank God Ipsy sent me another one. So I've been loving this eyeshadow, I think it is beautiful, it's like reddish with like pink and purple and it's beautiful. The second one is another one I talked about in my disappointing video because it is impossible to open the packaging but once you get in there after like an hour and you do manage to open it, which will take me a little while here. Okay, once you open it, it's a really nice eyeshadow and I've been enjoying it a lot. Yeah, I love it. And the last eyeshadow and the last product for my favorites is the one that I have on my eyelids today. I got it this month in my bag, so I got it like two weeks ago and I've been loving it since then like on a different level. It's by Naked Cosmetics, it's the heavy metal eyeshadow I guess. I have the number 04. It is stunning. It is like a bronzy color, so it goes perfectly with the ColourPop eye pencil that I got. It is just like beautiful. It is a loose eyeshadow, so there's a little bit of fallout, but honestly, not that bad. Since I got this, I can't stop like adoring this eyeshadow. I am going to try more Naked Cosmetics eyeshadows because if they're all like this one, I'm just going to buy everything they have. Okay, these were all my favorite Ipsy products. It's definitely not all of them, just the ones for this video because like I said, I ran out of some of them and some of them I just like, I don't know where they are because I use them so much. I have them in like purses and things like that. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I do post videos every Tuesday and Friday, so make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. I'll link all the products in the description below and also my disappointing Ipsy product video so you can check it out. And I just hope to see you here soon. Bye!